it's the unit 4 and it's a very familiar additions. We have learnt over the last few classes but we'll just see what is the new thing that is there in this lesson for us. So we'll just quickly recap the numbers that we use to add are called as add-ins and the answer that we get is the sum. The numerals that come for our addition is add-ins. All right. Write the numbers one below the other and then add the ones, tens and hundreds so that you can get ready to add which you already know. The next rule is add the ones, then tens and then the hundreds. If any column is 10 or more than 10, then carry over to the next column. Then if you still write 2 under the 1s and carry over 1 to the 10s. If you can see all this on the screen in page number 75. Let's take a look at one of the examples that is given here. 354 plus 120. So, plus 3, 7, 7 and 4. So, we did not have anything to carry forward. Remember we, we learnt that there are additions without carry forward and with carry forward. So, this is without carry forward. Let us take the look at the next sum 285 plus 347. So, we are going to add this. Now, there will be a carry forward and always when there is a carry forward, you do not have to take any stress, just push it to the next line or give it to the next room. Remember the place house value. So, this is 12, we get 1 here. So, there is a carry forward here. 8 plus 4 is 12. So, you add 12 to this, you get the answer 13. Again, you carry forward 1 here. You get 2 plus 3 is 5 and you add it to the number 1, you get this answer 6. So, one kind is without carrying forward, one is with carrying forward. Come back to the book. Let us see when we have to do 3 numbers. When we have to do 3 numbers like 375, 25 and 105. Now remember the rule in addition, in addition there is no set way of doing this. You can do one way or you can do the other way. The answer will be the same. So let us see what are the one, one method. It is to add all of them at the same time. Okay. Let us do method 1 and method 2. Both the answer will be the same but it is just for your convenience sake. So, let us see 5 plus 5 plus 5 15. So, we get 1 and we carry forward here and 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 1 10. So, we carry forward 1 here again into the hundreds. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 1 is this carry forward you add is 5. So, the answer is 5 0 5. Okay, so, let us see if we did the second method will we get the same answer? 375 plus 25, 10, we carry forward 1, carry forward 1, it is 400. Okay, now let us see. So, then we use this, we bring it here, 5, 5. So, we got the same answer. So, in an addition, although there are two kinds of doing it, in both ways, you will get the same answer and there is no set rule. You can even put 105 here, 375 here. In any way you do, you get the correct answer and you do not have to worry. All right, moving on, let us look at an addition of a large number. There are some exercises given in page number 76 which you can do on your own. It is simple and easy. Let us look at large digit number, how to add them, is it any different? Let us see, 5 plus 3 is 8, 2 plus 4 is 6, 8 and 3. So, whether it is large or small number, the addition is the same. 
okay it's not difficult at all now let's look at carry or carry forward in a large digit number example 2585 8 plus 5 is 13 so we have to it's a two digit number so we have to carry forward here 9 plus 8 is 17 plus 1 is 18 again we have to carry it here 5 plus 6 is 11 we add plus 1 to this okay we add plus 1 to this is 12 again we have to we can only write a single digit number here so we have to carry forward the next one so 2 plus 1 is 3 then you add that to the carry forward number it is 4 so 4 2 8 3 would be the answer all right moving on to the next page it's the method we tried both the methods you can do it just either for your convenience you're comfortable doing all the three you can go ahead and do that or you're comfortable to do two sums and then get the answer and do the third sum so it's only for your convenience but either ways you'll get the same answer no set rules all right let's move on to the 10,000 just for a practice let's see how to add a 10,000 one 68,542 okay and the next one is 13,275 so let's see 7 11 we carry forward and 5 plus 2 is 7 8 8 plus 3 is 11 again we carry forward here 6 plus 1 is 7 plus 1 is 8 Let's see once more 2 plus 5 is 7 4 plus 7 is 11 so we can we can only write one digit we carry forward 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 1 is 8 then again 8 plus 3 is 11 so we write one digit and we carry forward to the 10,000 so 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 so we get the answer 81,817 so that is the 10,000 or 5 digit number did you find any difference it's the same normal addition all right now in page number 79 there are practice exercises take out your notebooks and do this and then we will move on to page number 80 and this is practice exercise with carryover carryover is a little more um, different I wouldn't say difficult but if you just remember to carry over correctly then you will get the answer very fast all right now add the following in page number 80 is there which is again addition so we will take a look at one four digit example look at uh, the roman letter 3 and let's look at the example e so as we discussed 4 2 3 4 3 5 4 2 and 1 3 2 1 so we are going with the first method 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7 3 plus 4 7 8 9 2 plus 5 is 7 7 plus 3 is 10 we can't write two digits so we carry forward 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 1 8 plus 1 9 or else how do we do 4 2 3 4 plus 3 5 4 2 let's see what's the answer 6 7 7 7 plus so we got this answer to this answer we add the next 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 7 plus 3 is 10, balance 1, 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So we got both the methods, we got the same answer. Okay, now page number 81, please look at the screen and your textbook also. If you need the textbook, keep it ready with you on page number 81. Properties of addition. One added to any number gives a next number remember our successor and predecessor yes so when we add one to any given natural number we get the next number which is also called as a successor property two of addition is 
0 added to any number gives the number itself. Now this page is very important because these are again rules of addition which if you remember you will never go wrong. Property 3 the order of addition does not change the sum, sum is the answer remember. So order of addition did, does not change the sum just now we tried two methods of adding in both ways you got the same answer. So it is easy. Now next one page number 81 you have fill in the blanks which you can easily do because they are what we have already practiced. Page number 83 something a little new additions of word problems. Let us take a look at the uh, example that is given. What is the number? You just add both and in addition there are only two methods with carry forward or without carry forward. Okay, so we get the answer 903 students are in the school. Let us move on to page number 84. Since all the other exercises are already mentioned, let us go to Roman letter number 1. Let us read, think and solve. Let us solve one of it. There are 2300 and look at the Look at the first sum that is given. The first sum is a word problem. So there are 2375 men and there are 1483 women. This is a word problem, okay? Nothing different, it's just that it's given in sentences. So how many people are there in the town altogether? simple do not break your head over any of these things it is not at all any difficult it is just the same simple addition but put in different forms for you to learn. So 5 plus 3 is 8, 7 plus 8 is 15 you carry forward 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 1 is 8 2 plus 1 is 3. So the total number of people in the town is 3858. Okay, in the similar manner, try the others too. The uh, number F is having a five digit number. That is the only difference. All addition is same whether 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or 10 digit numbers also addition is the same. Just that the numbers have become more. That should not worry you at all. Okay, so page number 85 is a lot of activity for you to add and practice your additions. That brings us to the end of the unit 4 of additions. Mm -hmm.